Hey there, this is Crazy Biker. I've got a Subaru here, and it needs a CV axle, a shock, and a spring. How do I know it needs a spring? How do I know it needs a shock? All this, that's the fluid. The fluid's leaked out of the shock onto the shock body. It's all dirty. It's collected dust from the road, and it is now a piece of crap. I gave it a bounce test. It's basically like there is no shock. I could almost bounce it off the ground. Not quite. I did that once with my Jeep before I put the shocks in. It was funny. But on top of all that damage, whoever serviced this last, I don't know if they replaced the outer tie rod, but they didn't tighten the nut. I went ahead and tightened it already. I, I should have left it loose just to show the video, but... Yeah. Order of operation isn't super important for some stuff. I'm gonna start with the loose bits. I know I'm gonna have to take the shock out, this part of the shock. So I'm gonna free up the, the brake line right now. Okay, so there's this little clip here. And that is how I expected it to come out at first. I like to put everything on the ground near where I'm working, directly below it. Okay, so it's a hole. And what that means is they're intending for you to take the line off to go through there. I believe no coupler there, is there? Yeah, well, I can't do that. It's time to cut. There's a Dremel. Always wear eye protection. Just go with the plug-in one. These batteries don't last too long. Okay, charge it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take an adjustable wrench for this. Bend it out of the way. Once the bottom goes down, or oh, whatever way you want, just both the opposite way, a little bit more. There we go. I forget which one it is, it's either the bottom or the top, and it's got a, a centric bolt, and what that does is set your camber, and you want to get it back exactly where it was. So what I'm going to do is take this steel brush here, clean off a spot, this is just a paint marker for this. Or, even better, just put a little mark, put it on low, right there. Cool, two good marks. When you undo these bolts, I mean, I should say nut. Take the nut off, don't spin the bolt. I mean, if you have it marked, uh, well, I guess whatever, but uh, it will work, but it's better to just do the nut. Hold it in one spot with the wrench because even though you're marking these, there's still a little bit of play when you go to tighten it. So I'll just get it exact with this. Draw a line up there. I'll just make sure you guys can see that. There we go. A factory alignment specs, they always want the tire to be flat on the ground. In the tire, in the turns, uh, your tire twists a little bit and uh, that'll cause positive camber, which brings the top of the wheel out. And then that means you're riding on the outside of the wheel. You probably notice that if you're a hard driver, the outside of your wheels wear down a lot faster than the inside. And what you can do to combat that is increase your negative camber, bring the top of the tire in. So during the turn, it's gonna correct that camber and it's gonna be zero degrees around the corner instead of coming out. In our case, because we don't have an alignment machine to fix your toe, um, we're just gonna shoot for zero degrees, just like how it was when you took the wheel off. Your ABS wire, I'll get that quickly. If you're ever doing a job with ABS wires and you know at some point you're gonna have to remove the wire, you might as well just get it out of the way. I mean, these are pretty expensive for how small they are. I know Subaru's not too forgiving with their part prices in some areas. There we go. Okay. Hold this in place, don't move it. Oh, I dropped a washer. Okay, I see my scratch still. Oh, not stuck in the socket. The trick for that is just drop it, comes right out. Sometimes you have to chuck it at the ground though. Okay, 
Yeah, the top one is your alignment one. I can see. Yeah, it's it's all weird. There's a bigger hole on this side than this side. So I'll just put that down here. Okay, well that is out. Now for the next one. I need a 19 mil socket, 19 mil wrench, put her on. Now I'm pretty sure that this one can go in any way. So that's your alignment bolt. Watch out for the ABS wire. Yeah. See, the, the bottom one doesn't matter really. They haven't worked on Subaru in a while, I didn't remember. There we go, got them. Now, if you were only doing the CV axle, I don't suggest taking the, the bolts up here out. Um, there's a through bolt down here on your ball joint, your lower ball joint. It's a 14 mil and you just take it, take it right out and then you hammer a screwdriver into the little slit and you should be able to pry the lower control arm out and that'll give you the clearance to get the CV axle out without messing up your alignment at all. Okay, so that's out, perfect. Three nuts, one, two, three, all 12 millimeters. Bang, bang, bang. One. Two. Put your hand on it. <laughs> Three. Okay, it's not going anywhere. I like to leave these up here. All right. Now, time to get her out. here. Okay, you're free. Swim. Off to the side. Brake, brake line up. Um, I what my studs was catching. There we go. Okay, so for putting the shock in or the McPherson strut, First, you're going to want to get a nut on the top after you get it over this brake line. Okay, in there. I'll just rest it on the CV boot like that. All right, now the struggle. Oh, the struggle's real. That was easy. Blocking anything. Cool. Not super tight, just like how they came on. I did give it a grind that was like perfectly flat, so I'll be able to get it pretty damn close. Okay, here's your alignment bolt, the one that's all weirdly shaped. Get that lined up perfect where it was. About right there. And I'm gonna hold it about in the middle of where the play is when I go to tighten the bolt. Or the, I should say the nut. Because if you spin this, you mess up your alignment. And that is the bolt. And the bottom one. You wanna get them both in before you tighten it. Just like with anything. Line that paint mark up where, where I thought it was, just for fun. Whoops. Impact time. Don't let this wrench move. You gotta push it into about the middle of where it's wobbling. There. Okay, and your brake line. I think I didn't bend this open enough. Uh, I'm gonna do it more in case I nick the line. Okay. Bending these up, bend this back. Okay, this part could be a struggle. Got my clip here. Oh, cool. I might have had to bend that a little more. You know, I always use the proper tools.
kind of gave it a sweep this way because every time I hit it, it kept on bending this way. Good. All right, now the other side. I got 12 millimeter bolts. It's a little rusty from the junkyard or I'm cross starting. It's just rusty. Nothing an impact can't fix. Here are the torque specs for those who are wondering. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button and drop a like. And have a nice day.